Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Back to the Tales Principle 2 tonight. Last time, which happened to be last Wednesday, um, we did the intro sequence. We looked around... Uh, what was the name of the city called? Oh, right. New Jerusalem. Um, we met a few of our robot friends, and not quite friends, I suppose. And then we got to the actual first main puzzle area, and we did one puzzle on accident. Um, but here we are, ready to do some, some actual puzzles now. Um, this should be fun. Actually be fun now, instead of just wandering around blindly. Okay, um, yeah, let's go, let's go do a puzzle. Let's do the, the thing I expected to be doing, um, more of. <laughs> now that we can actually do it. Uh, okay. Let's see here. We got blah, blah, blah. Got some lasers. Many lasers, in fact. Several lasers. Okay, um... All right, let's see what we can do here. Do the red ones, right? I don't know if we can get both of these in one go. Probably not, we're not in the... No, we're definitely not able to... Oh, that's cool, it shows you the little blips behind the walls. So you don't lose track of them. That's cool, I like that. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see ya. Um, that'll make things easier. That'll make things a lot easier, in fact. Um, okay, so... Oh, this is fun. Alright, what can, what can we do with this? Can we, um, take red from that? Yeah, that's counted as red. And that's blue, so this will put out green, I'm guessing? Oh, that's kind of neat. It's not the color we need, but it's neat. Um, but I guess in that respect, which, which color do we need over there, actually? We need red. Or, yeah, we need red. So we need blue and green. Um, which should be relatively easy, right? Can we grab green from that, and then just take blue from that, and we can put this down there. Or no, because it's not gonna... No, we need to find some way to turn this corner. Um, I need green out of this, right? So let's, let's go ahead and do it this way. Red and blue makes green! I think. Yeah, and then we put it, like, right here. <laughs> And then we can do um, green and blue makes red, because that's how colors work. Um, there we go, we did it. Pretty easy, pretty easy puzzle. Although I do like the laser ones more than the other ones, so, you know, I might be a little biased. Another pretty neat little soft introduction to that sort of thing, though. And it looks pretty, too. Um, Alright, so we got it. We got puzzle number dos. And this will tell us that, oh yeah, you already did it. You want to restart and do it again? No, I do not. I'm gonna go do the next one. The music changed too, so I guess that's a, a good sign that we're doing the right thing. Oh, because it opened this door over here. That's why it's getting all, all epic and stuff. Solve puzzles two of eight. Okay. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? Hey, they use the word! Excuse me? Tetrominoes. It's another puzzle. Collect <laughs> enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. Excellent. I well, think. I think we can do what that. What is this? A theme park? <laughs> Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. Wait, how did... Seems like how did Gakip get in here? We just opened that door. Not a deliberate... Recreation, but built around the same core. Just jump. Probably just jumped over the wall. Let's not jump. Wish I could do that. Though. What's clear is that this place was meant to be uh, explored. Six more puzzles to do so. so. Let's do that. Okay. Right, Byron. I was gonna do that anyways, but not because you told me to. Uh, okay, so we got puzzles three and four over that way. Five, six, seven, eight over there. All right, you know what? Might as well just go in sequence, right? And also look around whilst we're here. But I have a feeling most of this will not be uh, a secrety secret town for a bit. It seems pretty basic so far, but eh, alright. Just keep an eye out regardless. Oh, there's another fancy thing up there. Okay. Um, do we have a map? We have a map, yeah? No. God, research and shit and a log, and the various things we downloaded, I guess, and oh good, social media, 
that I don't really want to fucking read about. <laughs> like it when they build social media into shit um okay uh oh and then oh, okay and then it tells you the whole thing here um give me an actual map map though no i guess not okay well we just know that there's another thing here that we can't eh. just reach our robot arms up there to grab whatever it is feels like we should be able to well hey we'll need to get up there somehow and jump down. I guess we'll see what we can do about that. Well, maybe that's something we can do when we do Puzzle 3. Or, it seems like they just pretty much you know put this up here for us anyways, so uh, yoink. Hell yeah. I'll just pick that up. Oh, it just... Pop to Chivo for finding and spark. Which, okay, fine. Um, is that, like... Do they keep track of those somewhere? It's not marked on our little group thing there. It's not marked as a star, because clearly it's not a star, but... Oh, wait, no, the sparks were, like, the puzzle hints, weren't they? Like, you can find these things if you want to skip a puzzle, it costs, like, a spark or something, right? I think that was the deal. But we don't really need to do that, because we're going to solve all the puzzles. We don't need to skip any of them, right? Okay, let's see. What do we got? We got a, a switch. Green and red. And we need to open a blue, so there we go. Okay. Uh, red. And green. And blue. And put it on the switch. It's this second little thing here, right? And then we need red over there, which will be... I suppose that'll be green, yeah? Uh... Or no, we need blue. So blue and... Uh... Wait. Is that gonna work like that? Blue and... No, that's gonna be blue. That's not gonna do it, no. Okay, we need blue and green. Uh... Okay, I think I've got an idea here. Um, let's grab this one again. I'm gonna do that, and that, and that'll make blue. But we'll just kind of shove it over there. And then we need, um... Oh, shit. That's not gonna do it anyways. Uh... Because that's outputting blue. I do need a blue output, but I also need a green. Um... Oh, I've got an idea. Let me grab this again. Uh, let's do a green and a red, and I'll, I'll put it to blue over there, not like it's gonna matter. Uh, but if I remove this, that'll cut that off, and then that's just straight up red, right? Okay, no, that's not gonna do it. Let's try that again. Let me get rid of that one. Um, so there's our blue output, and then we need green from here somehow. Uh, alternatively, though, we could do red and then blue output from there would be green, right? Which, uh, <laughs> I don't think is right anyway. Okay, okay. And there's not another one, right? another little laser output here. Um, but I guess we don't necessarily need this to be green, right? We just need this open. We just need that open. Um, I guess we just need it to point at something, right? So red, or green and red makes blue-ish, I suppose. Um, which is actually fine. We don't need it to be on the switch. Green and red makes blue, right? And then realistically, we just need green and blue makes red. Yeah, there we go. So it doesn't even need to point to anything. We don't need to give it an output. 
We just need to set it up such that it uh, is ready to provide if we hook something else to it. That was pretty cool. I like that. Keep solving these, 1K. Let's see where it leads. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. And also, I like that I'm the one doing all the work here, and then everybody else is just off exploring the island, which sounds fun and exciting. And I wish I could do that. But I guess we're here. We're doing the hard work of all the puzzle solving. So That's fine. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though. But we got a little spark bells there. Them, but the results just don't make sense. There might be some other ones the around here, too. Let's take a look around while they're yapping about something. 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth. But, but that sounds hard, and I don't want to do it. Given how weird no. everything else is. Good work, you could. Keep at it. Smelling the computer gathering data by Aaron and Alcatraz just sitting in the robot again. That's a good point. We haven't seen where Alcatraz made it made it off to though. Like he could be off doing something super important that also happens to be secret and not worth explaining narratively. But yeah, Byron's kind of just like the yeah you you the rest of you go do the actual work and I'll just do nothing and I'll be like hey yeah good job every now and again. So that, that I believe, that I kind of believe. Although he was, like, Byron was the one pushing for this expedition to begin with, so, you know. I guess without him it wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened. But even so, even so, okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else collectible around this away, huh? Got the one thing we did the unless there's something further up perhaps. So there was this little window-ish looking thing, right? Which I don't think is anything of particular importance right now, but we'll remember it's there, I guess. We, we won't remember it's there. Um, but that was number three, yeah. Four, five, and six are this way. I like that they signpost these pretty well. They manage to somehow point you in the right way without the whole, like, lines on the floor type thing, right? This statue's kind of weird. Alright. Okay, four straight ahead. Uh, oh, there's also another thing here. Excuse me. I'm just to stick my palm on this glowy spot. Surely nothing bad will happen. Oh boy, it's it's logs and shit. Okay. Uh, set out from the dam, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is about the past. Secondary supply sites. All right, so good old Dr. Drennan, good old Doc Alexandra is setting up shit for us. And uh, find detailed information many more complex materials are in bad shape. Blah, 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 blah. Expected the simulation to be done sooner. Uh, these two recharging pods are about the damn four hour sheds just as well, and I'm telling this kind of critters are hiding in the undergrowth. Yeah, because they'd be real dangerous to robots, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, sure they are there yet where it came from, blah, 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 blah. The last few hundred or thousand years of human history and say, look at how ugly it all is. Yeah, that's right. Human history is not a, not great. I'll agree with that. Uh, what a mess we made. Modernity was a bad idea. Uh, well, torn on that one. Um, I was thinking of where we are right now is the end point, and it's the adulthood of uh, human species. Okay, I, I can get behind that uh, notion as well. Dry fly, I want you to know about human development and human history. Think about babies. Babies are ugly. <laughs> babies are ugly, admit it. We all know it. They look like tiny old people. <laughs> Oh, they got children, tiny sociopaths with underdeveloped brains, and they become teenagers, pimply, self-righteous lunatics. <laughs> Boy, they got humanity's number right here. Uh, it's only if you're lucky they gradually become adults. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'd strictly call that lucky. I don't know the human individual is always ugly and messy, but that's the point. Development towards something, same applies to humanity as a whole. On a geological scale, we barely just come into existence. Well, yeah, I mean, compared to the existence of the universe, we're but a tiny blip, of course. I mean, that's how math works. Uh, Stopping here would be disastrous and betrayal of everything, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, just because it's all pimples and hormones and frustration right now doesn't mean it's never going to change. Yeah, well, it could change a little bit faster. Whatever. Uh, Dead City. Science Athena spent the Dead City Changer. I don't think she had conceived of the goal before. I don't think she fully believed in blah, 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 blah. Sheer amount of death that gets to me. How many animals or ancestors killed me to the point of extinction? I'm guilty, I guess. Uh, entire species eradicated. Blah, 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 blah. And the great blowback, the deaths of billions of thinking beings. Extinction of humanity itself. Yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer, isn't it? I found I had a great deal of time doing just that. Thinking about whatever, right? To realize no way back to the blah blah blah. No way back to the growth obsessed, all consuming civilization of the past. Oh man. Speaking about that as if it's in the past, and here we are practically living it. Boy, that's kind of a downer. All right, wasn't puzzle number four over here? <laughs> Let me do a puzzle. Take my mind off the depressing state of humanity. Is this number four? I hope it's number four. Uh, okay, we got boxes, we got fans, we got lasers. We need a green laser. Ah, I see what's going on here. Okay. Box. Laser. Blue. Oh. Wait, uh, do I have to jump up here first? Can I not target it through the wall? Hmm, I thought I could target it through through the, like, glass pane thing. Is that not a... Oh, it's like, turn that on once. Whoa, yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. Um, well... Whoa, whoa, jeez. Oh, I can just do this this way. Alright, let me do this. There we go. All right, blue, red, green, and uh, I guess just drop it on the box, right? Uh, there, and can I just move the, no, I can't move the thing with it on there. Whoa, jeez. All right. Oh, you can keep the connections with right click. There we go, there we go. And then put it there, and then turn it on. Bim, boom, bam, puzzle solved. Don't knock humanity, we're pretty good at solving puzzles. We're also pretty good at creating problems. Neatly done, 1K. Okay. I mean, we did it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we don't necessarily... Oh, we received a... We received a DM! Who the fuck is sliding into our DMs here? Um, I'm sorry. Oh, this is the weirdo. I met in New Jerusalem, if you remember. Spoke to my friend's whole mysterious island expedition as the blah 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 blah. I have some questions for you. Consent to my gathering and sharing your personal date. Um, that's a little vague. Yeah, what am I signing up to, you little shit? <clears throat> <laughs> Want some assurance is your right kind of person. If you want to know what's really, you'll have to play along. Back out at any time if you don't don't engage with the process. Then, well, you won't get to engage with the process at all. It's up to you. Man. Well, like, what are they gonna fucking learn? That we're a robot? Like, they're not gonna learn anything more about us than they already don't know. Than they don't already know, right? And I don't want to like cut ourselves off from presumably more puzzles. So yeah, fine, fucking whatever, man. Six questions. Standard vetting procedure. We'll get the best results if you answer in whatever way is most true to you. <laughs> oh no, I didn't know there was going to be a survey. Alright, uh, there's one which is more important for making good decisions. Compassion or knowledge? Um... Well, they're both pretty important. I don't know if I could say one is more important than the other. What if I be a... What if, what if I'm an obstinate asshole here? Uh, you know what? No, fuck your terms. They're both pretty important. Infinite reality into binary language. Nonetheless, I suggest you have any natural inclination towards either idea you answer that way, even if it's not strictly correct. If you insist, I'll communicate your apathy when it can be. Uh, alright. Alright. Well, okay. I guess I'm going to take a logical stance on this, right? 
It's a lot easier to gain knowledge than it is to gain compassion. So if you've already got some measure of compassion, you can always make up for the knowledge later. That's what I'm going to go with. Compassion. Is it ever okay to lie or misdirect in order to keep a secret? What the fuck? Oh, man. Uh... Boy, we are really trying to, to, to black and white the whole grayscale thing, aren't we? <sighs> All right. Um, sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah, well, whatever, man. Uh, when people are do, do wrong, do they deserve to be punished for it beyond what is necessary for our own protection? What the fuck? Man, there's always these qualifiers at the end that make me go, hmm. Um, bad behavior deserves to be punished. Well, yes, but people shouldn't suffer more than is necessary. I also, I dislike the question, but I have a feeling he's just going to be like, oh, blah, 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 you make a choice, idiot. I'll be like, fine, fuck you. Um, no one deserves to suffer unnecessarily. Ouch. <laughs> oh, it's metaphysical. In your opinion, can the world be reduced to mechanical parts, or is its existence, or is existence just weirder than we'll ever really know? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd say the universe is pretty fucking weird. Yeah, the universe is weird. <clears throat> Can things really change for the better for good or do good times and bad just come around in cycles? I well I mean, Yeah, it's a false dilemma. What the fuck? Oh Oh, no, he was fine with me saying like yeah, no fuck that one. Yeah, what a shitter. Okay, uh, what is more important than success of civilization? Respect the lessons of our past or to rewrite the rules for our future? I mean... I mean, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it, right? That was the whole thing? Continues to be the whole thing? Oh, so uh, there was one more, huh? There's always one more. Can praying for something make it more likely to come true? Oh boy, we're we're really wow. Okay, so 24 minutes in on the night, we're getting into some religion, huh? No, <laughs> no. Oh man. We got to do two puzzles, and then suddenly we're being asked to. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Jackass slid into our DMs like, hey, you know, here, answer these fucking things. Whatever, let's do a puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna go do another puzzle. Let that one stew. Um, okay, five, over this way. Oh, and then there's another, oh, there's a gate thing over there. I'm sure we'll check that out eventually, right? Oh, but it also tells us where the other ones... Or, no. Well, it tells us that we have two... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, the two, what are those? Lost puzzles. And a gold puzzle, that's what the gate is, I guess. And then there's another thing, and two other things beyond that. Okay. Alright, well, let's go to do the marked puzzles first, and then we can do a little bit of... Do a little explore, find the other things, huh? Okay, doesn't look deep enough for swimming, which is probably for the best, right? No, more glowy bits. Oh, oh, we get an actual voice clip in this one. Well, let's read all about it first. Trevor Percival Donovan. He's known as Trev and never as Percy, which, or Don, I guess, would have been an equally valid choice. All right, the extended life standard project form the backbone of simulation. You put together hardware and made it all possible, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he's a roboticist. Left behind a series of messages for the future. Uh, like Alexandra or Ark... Do we remember Arkady? 
I feel like I remember that name. Um, but he was forgotten. No one, not one building or street in that named after him. Douglas Files. I've been thinking about them a lot. Okay, well, presumably that's this one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. I, we have to do it ourselves, huh? So I heard oh, there we Alexandra go. Alexandra okay. is recording these time capsules for... You out there, I guess? Robot people of the future. Hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexandra Drake. I don't know, I kind of want to hear more from Alexandra. You know what I was thinking, a dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? That's a good-ass question, well, Trevor. I bet you're going to answer it. Story. Yeah, all right. When I was... Yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank. I'm recording right now. Yeah, Mom, I'm on the phone. <laughs> no. no. You know what? Why don't you go? Wow. Great. Very insightful, Trevor. Thank you. Oh, my God. All right. More lasers. Um, got red. We need green. So we need to find a blue. There's a thing over here. Okay. Well... Oh, this is a normal ass one though. This isn't one of the combo ones. Okay, let's do that first. Gets us through here. Oh, there's that little thing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. That's blocking that for now. Let's make it block that one. And there's the combo bit, right? So that we can get back out there. There's like a big ol' empty space here for no particularly good reason. But all right, and then there's a blue here, which, okay, I see what's going on. Uh, do that. Trade this out for this. And then do the blue bit here to unlock that for goodsies, right? But then what? I don't know, presumably want me to do something else with that. Or, or, hold on a second, um, do this like this, and we get this over, like, right here. Uh, is that gonna be in, no, that's just gonna be just barely, not in, ra not in range there. Um, hmm. Hold on a second. Let's see what else is beyond there, if there is anything else beyond there. Mm, nope, it's the big old empty space. Okay. Think about this for a hot second here. So the source for that is way over there. There's any way for me to put it up higher, is there? Well, let's see what else we got. I mean, alternatively, I mean, since this is going to be open anyways, right? I don't need to leave it on the thing. Go ahead and do that. And then we can go ahead and just, uh... There we go. Block that one the way through there. We don't need that there, and then we can do uh, uh, red, blue, green, honk. All right, Pretty good. Oh, good. Somebody's sending a group teams message. Particle clouds are, but I managed <clears throat> to fix the transport system. Okay, well, that's the good news. I fixed another bit of it. All right, well. well it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Well, jeez, nobody said anything, said anything, Melville. My God. <laughs> Very defensive. Um, I... <laughs> Look at the fucking Stark on that one. An impressive success rate. I mean, 50% is, you know, greater than zero. Um, 
What was the problem? If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was sabotage. Okay. The whole system is a mess. All right. Let's not make any assumptions. Yakut, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more. So, of yeah, an what the fuck is Alcatraz off doing? Less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Melville's fixing the Let's shit. Okay. Yakut's looking around. Keep We're solving the puzzles. Out, stay alert. Alcatraz hasn't said shit. Why was he even on that call? What was the point? That could have been an email. What the hell is the point of all that? And then Byron's just like, yeah, go hoorah team. And he's, he ain't doing shit himself, so yeah, I'm starting to have, uh, have a few suspicions of Byron here. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't just shit-talking you, Byron. <laughs> totally wasn't. Although... Yeah, it's well. Tell it's me, a while. what did you make of New Jerusalem? It was a lot of open space with not much to do. Um, it's beautiful but decaying. You're right. You're absolutely right. We had such ambitions in the beginning, but now it's all turned inwards. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. Mm -hmm. All we need to do now is finish that dome, and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. Okay, I wanted to ask you a question. What the fuck are you doing? Ask away. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Um. Fine. Tell me about yourself. I am someone who was born a long time ago. Okay. When well, we get to number seven, I guess. The past and demonize progress. Oh boy. When the value of human civilization was evident because it was so close to being gone. Okay. I'm someone who believes that human beings are important. Okay. Terribly. Desperately important because intelligent life is rare and precious. Yeah, yeah, right. I suppose you could say I'm old fashioned. That's not what I would consider old fashioned, but alright, okay, okay. What about puzzles? What are they doing here? Alexandra Drennan was trying to find a way of creating true AI. She stumbled upon the idea that curiosity and playfulness are core characteristics of intelligence. So she built the simulation around a game. Uh -huh. Because playing is part of what makes us human. Agreed. We also retain some of that code, as I'm sure you noticed when you were booting up. Uh, because of that, puzzles have always been important to initiation our Initiation thing? Right. To me, they represent the <clears> idea <throat> that the application of reason can lead us forward. Okay. None of which explains why these puzzles are here or who built them. True. But I think it shows that there must be some kind of intent behind them. Perhaps a test. Uh, sure. Well, it's a good thing I'm doing them and you're not then, huh? Uh, what do you think about the megastructure? It's a mystery. Not just because it's technologically far ahead of us, but because we genuinely don't understand its purpose. Uh, yeah. I think that's wonderful. That's a mystery, all it's right. That's what that word what means. we needed as a civilization. Huh? Okay. Well, I mean, Alcatraz hadn't said in two words, so yeah. Because we disagree on just about everything, you mean? Sure. Well, here's the secret. We're not friends. Al is honest. Oh, okay. He believes what he believes because it seems right to him, not because it gives him power over others. I respect that. In fact, I prefer that. To I do like the me subtle echo they got going on friends. here. That's pretty neat. Good detail. Oh, I totally missed what he said that last bit because I was talking over it. Good thing we got this handy dandy uh, log, right? What did he say there? Da -da 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 -da. He's honest. He believes what he believes. Blah, 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 blah. I respect that. In fact, I prefer that to someone who agrees with me just because I'm one of the first companions. Okay. So, Byron wants somebody who is argumentative but honest. You know what? I can get behind that. You know what? In fact, Byron, just for you, I'm going to argue the sh the shit out of you, whatever you say. Is this this is the one we just got, right? This is about the uh, uh Trevor. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, and we did that one with the fancy lasers, and then the next one is next three are over there. Wait, where the fuck did Byron come from? He was walking over this way, right? Just having a good old Sunday stroll or something. I guess this is kind of where... Oh, no, this is where we came from, too. We came in this way. I think. Yeah. And then I turned 
turn left to get the things about Trevor, and then right for the puzzle. Hey, yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, it looks like number six is over there. Oh, and then the other gate thing is back that way too, huh? Well, we'll get there eventually. Let's go over here. I do like that the background music is starting to build a bit. That's cool. It's good shit. Every puzzle we solve, it kind of ramps up a little bit. What was that up there? Melville, is that you? You're the yellow one, right? Yeah. What's up? Yes. <laughs> um. Tell me about yourself. Founders Piston. Do you want my autobiography now? I, Fine. I guess not. Jeez. I'm one of New Jerusalem's chief engineers. One of? I'm in charge of city maintenance and power management. Okay. Yeah. I'm old as dirt, although not quite as old as that fossil Byron. Okay. In short, old grumpy keeps stuff. Well, I asked about you, not what you do, but all right. Yeah, exactly. You have any hobbies? Hobbies? You think I have time for hobbies? No. That's cute. No. <laughs> hobbies, all of you would be dead. Oh, jeez. Nothing? What do you want me to say? I... I like bubble baths, candy, and the concept of Tuesdays. Wow, of all the days, the Tuesdays, Tuesdays huh? Maintain That's a real poor choice. If you don't put real effort into keeping stuff running, it all falls apart in just a few decades. Yeah, true enough. Civilization yeah. is always on the brink of collapse unless we do something. Oh, uh, I don't know if I agree and with I that, do. but <laughs> what do you think of the mega structure? It's big. It's too big. Okay. And it's got a lot of energy running through it. Okay. Frankly, I think we should be pooping our robot pants. Well, robots don't wear See, pants, that's right? That's what I mean about the language libraries. Pooping our pants. Really? <laughs> All right. Uh, what about the particle clouds? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. What do you think about those? Yeah, well, elaborate. Confusing, <clears throat> irritating, infuriating. Okay. Take your pick. All three. V very illuminating, Melville. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. Oh, good. We're headed in the same direction. That's clearly puzzle six. All right, two little combo things. Uh, red and blue. Interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, like I learned before, I don't need to give it an output, right? Um. We just need to have it ready. Okay. And then we need to do both blue and red. Interesting. Okay. Well. Um... Well, all I've got is really is red and green. I'll make, well, let's put that over a little bit there. And that'll be red and blue makes, which we don't need. Fuck. <laughs> All I need is red and blue, so I need an extra green thing of a ding, right? So bonk, bonk becomes blue. And then, oh, excuse me. And then, uh, oh, uh, that ain't gonna work. Let's rejigger this a little bit. Uh, and also, well, <laughs> that's putting on red there. Need something that puts out green, so I need that. Here, let's drop that one there for a moment. 
that's what I need now. Red and green making... no, oh, that's blue as well. Duh. Alternatively, I could do just do red and green makes blue there, right? Oh, I don't know if I want to... did I want to do that? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, because I need to do, um... Uh, blue and green makes red, right? There we go. I kind of don't like that they're stacking all these fun laser puzzles at the front. That makes me think there's going to be some unfun ones later. Hmm? No, oh, I see another little thing going over there. Uh... Let's see where that's going to end up. that making the circuit there or where was that going that might have been headed towards the big old gigantic ass tower there thought it might have had something to do with one of the lost puzzles maybe not okay mm, that leaves number eight somewhere is right so seven. Oh, here we go Oh, no, that was six. Seven and eight over this way. Oh, and then Melville just kind of very casually strolled past us while we were taking care of business there. Hmm, alright. Self-sufficiency, we got a, a button! Red input there, red input there, fan there, another button. Single laser connector there. Uh... Oh, right. Yep. That stays open there. Uh, good stuff, I guess. Do I need green for anything? Cause that's just blue, right? Okay, we've got blue, we've got green. And we've got red. Oh, which presumably gets us up there. Oh, that's the, the end of it. So we need red over here. Um, and red here. Uh, but none of these are combo ones. So that's interesting. Well, we're going to need the fan back to where it is. <clears throat> and then, uh, I guess we need blue. Uh, blue and green would make red, right? So... This one to be like, hey, motherfucker, I want this to be here, maybe, actually. Yeah, because that's not going to... Oh, no, no, that is a combo one. I thought that was a... Uh... Okay. Oh, it's also red there. I see. Um... Mm. And then let me stand on this one to get it to open itself. There we go. And now that's on. And now I need the fan. Oh, which needs to be this, actually. That, 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 that. 
Um, which means I need to open that thing again by staying to my robot butt on this one for a bit. There we go. And then I need the fan back here. There we go. Whee! Okay. Not bad. Now, though, what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically, you're right, but... Ain't the best kind of right. <laughs> I can't tell what that is. Oh, Alcatraz speaks. You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Clearly, you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. <laughs> so busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. Okay. What are... What is everybody crabbing about? Oh, there. Um... Yeah, that's a... Okay. An interesting photo, I guess. I don't know. Reference. Reference of what? <clears throat> oh, Alcatraz has been posting like, hey, here's informative shit, yeah? Um, blah, 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 puzzles, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, no, we knew about that. And then the arch, which is gonna build a bridge or something, right? And he was talking about a weird building, which we already looked at, right? And then... I don't know what the, what the hell. Uh, SFPs or Expeditions. Uh, being over mission completion. An Expedition member to stay by the vehicle at all times. Oh, is that where Alcatraz is? Wow! That's shitty. Usually that's... Usually the first officer gets to go out and do shit, but I guess he's the one staying behind the vehicle. Because Yakut's uh, going out and exploring a little bit. Melville's going out and fixing shit. I'm out and about doing the puzzles, and we ran into Byron when he was out and about. So, okay. Interesting. Alright, uh, information, blah, 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 blah. Okay, oh, TTP2, I get it, the Talos Principle 2. Ah, title drop, sort of. Personal journey, return journey from blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's stuff we've already lived, right? <clears throat> yeah, okay. I'm sure that's some sort of... Decipherable code later on, I imagine. And the various thing, yeah, blah 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 blah. And then, wow, look at this, it's a big ass tower. Okay, well, I guess the rest of the team is doing something, right? And the various other things we've already seen, okay. Oh, right, Melville had said something about, hey, we, you can go to a new area when you want to. Um, we're almost done with this one, though, at least with the main bits. And we've got the gate one, which is over there, and the two lost ones are clearly lost, so we don't know where those are right now. And then there's two stars, which I think is... Um, one of them, I think, is back at the initial structure all the celestial imagery on it. Can you jump high enough to get on this thing? Eh. Eh. No, guess not. You, you'd think with our robot bodies we would have a better jump height or something. No such luck though. Alright, where was number eight? <laughs> Over this way. Okay. gate is over there as well, which is good. Where should we be heading anyways? Uh, oh, and then the gate is that away. Uh, well, since we're up here. Okay, it's that way. Oh, Byron's still walking around. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, 
I'm gonna step off the path a bit. Is there fall damage? No, I guess not. <laughs> Alright. Oh, gate's this way anyways. that oh yeah coot hey buddy what's up are you navigating what's for up? us what are you navigating about tell me about yourself what's up i don't know if there's much to tell hey. I'm not that interesting okay i'm just a member of the scavenging team well so am i but that's senior a... member all right lead scavenger i guess oh there's okay. not that many of us left to be honest and garris doesn't get along with the mayor who's garris what else? Uh, I have a cat named Bruce. Kay. I like old music. All right. Um, I have a collection of antique bottles. I think that's it. You're better at this than Melville, that's for sure. Um, why'd you become I a scavenger? Loved exploration, seeing new places, that feeling that you're the first person to set foot somewhere after all this time. Okay. But you know, it's it, not unreasonable. It's, it's not even that. It's just seeing new things. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The world is full of remarkable sights, and experiencing them changes you. It's not the same as just reading about it. Uh, sure? Yeah, riches our lives. Exactly. Every time I go on another mission, I find something that surprises me, that extends my horizons in ways I couldn't have anticipated. The world is so much bigger than we are. Uh -huh. It contains things that we can't even imagine. And if we limit ourselves to our own minds, we'll never grow. Eh, I don't know if I agree with that, but um, yeah, tell me about your cat. Tell me about Bruce. What's up? He's five years old, mm -hmm. half goofball, half psychopath. As all he cats are, yeah. his head into things, chews cables, uh -huh. pees on electrical stuff. Yeah. Melville banned him from her workshop, but he loves visiting her and peeing on her equipment <laughs> very good why do you collect bottles though i just find it fascinating that these fragile objects have survived for so long plus they're kind of pretty mm -hmm. okay do you want to solve a puzzle not that i think you could but do you want to solve a oh, puzzle no. please no puzzles i'm so bad at puzzles i barely got out of the booting process Elohim thought I might be defective. Oh, okay. I it's fair. It's the farthest you've ever been from New Jerusalem. It might be this. Although, there was an expedition to a superconductor storage facility up north. Huh? Incredibly well preserved, but the logistics were an absolute nightmare. Now that I think about it, there might be some of that in you. What, some of those superconductors, I guess? Seen anything like the megastructure here? Our ancestors built some pretty amazing things. Huge cities, factories, yeah. mines, monuments to their history. Yeah. But nothing quite like this, no. I mean, it does seem not quite human. That's all. All right. You know, like he's a seems a personable fella. Um, all right. The, uh, the gate. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Hey, wait. That looks familiar. We saw one of those back at the original area, too, didn't we? Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. Mm -hmm. There was a harder set of puzzles at the simulation, right? Was there? Maybe they're like that. I know one case probably like. Yay, harder puzzles. Hey, I don't sound like that. <laughs> Fuck you. Like error code 704. <laughs> no thanks. What a shitter. You're cute. Come on, we just had a good convo. But, I mean, let's be honest, he's got my number. Like, I'm like, hell yeah, harder puzzle, let's go. <laughs> what a fucker, though. He could have picked a kinder way to say that. Um, yeah, this looks like definite, like, do all the cool shit, and then you get a cool thing type thing, right? Alright, too bad we, uh, moved our butts over here. Alright, back to number eight, then. Some puzzles and test principle, and you can only unlock using stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I 
I do remember that. Because we had the normal ass uh, Tetromino ones, right? And then some of the gold ones, and then the stars, the extra stars, right? Stars. Um, but yeah, and then there's two stars in this area, right? So we gotta find those at some point. Um, for now, number eight. <clears throat> getting our steps in to find these damn puzzles, though. Wait. What's down this path? Oh. Nothing. Good. Great. <laughs> there you go. I was wondering if that would land for anybody. It's a... It, I wouldn't say it's an obscure reference, necessarily, but it's definitely a reference that cuts at a very specific depth. Um... Okay, here we wandered into Puzzle 8. Okay, so we got one laser bit. Uh, combo bit over there. Uh, switch with a perma fan. Which, okay, I see what's happening here. We got blue over there. One green there, one green there behind a wrought iron fence, and there's the solution bit there. Okay. And then another thing here, the box. Green. Okay, there's red there. Uh... Okay. I th think I see. <clears throat> First, however, I need a red thing here. Uh, no, I need that box first, probably. But I do need a red bit here as well. So hold on, let me grab this thing out of here. I cannot grab that thing there. And I need the box to elevate this anyways, right? So let's go ahead and do... Uh, I think this just works as a is that going to be a blue output now? Well, if that's the case, I need this out here. So I can take blue and put it there. Oh, that's actually not going to work because I need that to be held open. <clears throat> here, let's do... Um, let's grab this, and this should probably be fine here, right? Just need to do that. Okay, we need to do red, blue, green, honk, and get the box, which I will need for this, and then I will need to go the other way with this, I think, right? Except, first I will grab, actually I'm going to do this, do red, Blue. I don't need that one yet. And green here, right? But I'm gonna need um uh... hmm. Wait a minute. I forgot what was in there. That was the box that was in there, right? Because we need the box for here. Let me, uh... Put that there for a hot second. I'm gonna need to change these, I think. But this one can probably just be the normal-ass red. Now that we got the box, so let's just do that. <clears throat> I guess the red out there. And then we can do uh, red, green, uh, yes, and that. Because that runs the fan. Yeah, okay. Um, except I also need to go like red, blue, red, green, and green, and there, I guess. Now I'm gonna need 
this to be yeah, crap do. Um <clears throat> need to borrow this for a second. So now I'm curious if I do uh I guess keep the connections on that, right? Now that's sort of ready to go. But then I need this to be red hook into that. Will that work like that? Yes, it will. That's neat. We do that. And that pops up. That's up there for goodsies now, yeah. But that does not. <clears throat> Crap. Because I need that to be, like, up there. Good. Oh, I can probably just... Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, Alright, I need to change this up a bit. Probably just do it this way, right? Blue. Red. Uh, green. Bonk. Um, but I also then need that to be... Blue. Red. Bonk there. And then hold this open. Elevate that shit there. And now we've got uh, green, green here. Yeah, there we go. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. Wait, why do you want me to access the tower? I'm like the one that's furthest from the tower. Why don't you do it, Byron? You're the one who's wandering around. I'm gonna go look for those other two puzzles. You go look at the tower. Lazy shit. Well, we did the main bits. <clears throat> There's just the, the gate thing, which we probably need the stars for, and then the two hidden ones. And also the other hidden one, which is the lab thing of a ding, right? And whatever the stars are uh, located at. Okay, well, let's have a look around. If there's anything of interest, those big ass statues are kind of interesting. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, that's got a thing in it. Wait. Monument? Decorative for another puzzle. Who knows? Uh, Alcatraz. Yeah. Hey. Everything okay? Oh wait, you're not back by the ship. Wait. Aren't we violating standard procedure by not having one person at the ship at all times? Ah, oh, whatever. Me? T tell, yeah, tell me about well, you, Alcatraz. Uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. Yeah, about three quarters smaller, I'd imagine. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got involved with the administration side of things. Okay. Uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials. All right, logistics. Energy usage, logistics is important. Sort of you know, it's a good idea. I think we've accomplished what the founder <laughs> wanted us to. But? And I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Well, I mean, the the goal well, was, really what, a thousand? And here we are. Way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. Eh, fair. Fair. Um, you and Byron friends? Of course. Yeah. My best friend, in fact. Ah, uh, I don't know if he, would he see it that way? of times over the centuries. Yeah. A good person who cares about the world and the people in it. I just also think he's wrong about everything and extremely annoying. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's that's friends for you. That's friends for you. I, I I like that you can disagree and still be friends. The founder taught us that we must never lose track of other people's humanity, even if they disagree with us. We're all in this together, uh -huh. even if we can't always see eye to eye. Yeah, if there's something to be said by uh, 
of acknowledging others' humanity, right? Um, what do you think about the megastructure? I don't know. It's obviously impressive. Well, why don't you go look? I just unlocked it. I think it. we should be very careful. Okay, well. We're dealing with powers we don't really understand. Uh, sure. What do you think about that lab I found? What lab? What lab did we find? We found a lab? I think the only reason to build a lab in so remote a location is because you're trying to hide what you're doing. Or you don't want to be bothered. Or because what you're doing is or, dangerous. Or you don't want to be bothered. <laughs> what does the goal mean to you? To me, it means accepting a certain amount of humility. Okay. Our ancestors thought they could master the world with no regard for any other organisms. Okay, they yeah, failed that's to true. see themselves as part of a greater whole. Also probably true. Yeah. I think the founder realized where they went wrong and tried to offer us a different path. A path where we have a place in this world, but the world is not ours. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's not, not a bad perspective, okay. And what do the puzzles mean though? Well, puzzles or uh, trials, as Elohim calls them. I didn't say Elohim. I don't process, care about what Elohim thinks. The founder. Ask you, Alcatraz. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. Okay. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. The only physically existing puzzles hmm. I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. Yeah, we fucking so, blasted those. Your question? No idea. Wow, thanks, Alcatraz. <laughs> Okay, and then we got this thing that we just uh, spied on our way around. Look, Elohim is a piece of shit. <laughs> I recall him being very not super cool in, in uh, Tales Principle 1, so... And I've got a pretty long memory for certain things. So, uh, Elohim can go suck shit. Um, that's interesting, though. Oh, I see. There's a thing up there. There's a little green input. Okay. Um. Is there a, uh. Is there one of these puzzles that lets us, uh. target this from within it? I feel like number eight had that. But okay. Alright. We, uh, we've got a thing to investigate here. I was sort of partly right with these elevated statue things. Okay. Um, what about the other one? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Over there. Look at that. Uh, are we going to be able to get that? Over this way? Uh, let's see. We need to... Point. Uh, oh, it even tells us uh, the compass thing. Okay, we need to point uh, w towards the star. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, shoot. Uh, can we theoretically do that? I guess that's why they let us do it this way, though, huh? Um, yeah, wow, we need to back way the fuck out here. Which is fine, we keep connections, and we're putting out green, right? So, woo, all the way over there, alright. Blip, and blip. Uh, oh, right, we need to open this thing again. Oh, right. We need to do the, the thing. Right, okay. Um, uh, let's take this. Bonk. Uh, bonk. Bonk. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Let's go check it out. So is that literally one of the stars? Probably, huh? 
Yeah. When Got the first it. man picked up the Ooh. first stone, Ooh. he did not do so to forge a tool. No. He did so to smite his brother. I mean, you know, smiting sometimes requires a tool that happens to take the form of a stone. I think that was more like a recording. The entity didn't appear, and the system didn't react either. Stars. Another reflection of the simulation. Stars. Okay. Did it. Um, so then my presumption is that other... Where was that other one? Uh, not that one, clearly. Or that one. Uh, the other elevated one up there, perhaps? Uh, that's... uh no? No? Okay. But, I guess it's any of those marked by that little, uh... That golden... St oh, nice. Good step, idiot. Um, marked by the, the golden little star emblem on it, right? As long as it puts, like, a little indicator on our, on our compass still a bop thing, it's probably a good indication that that's where it's at. So, alright. We're, we're learning. That was this one, presumably. Yep, yeah, okay. Um... Uh... other puzzle was it here that had the little thing getting elevated? Not that I think they would overuse that particular bit of it, but it seems like a good place to start. Over there. Can we get over there? We just did over there. Cuck, cuck. Um, did we do this glowy bit? It's still glowing, so probably not. Yeah, no. All right, what do we got here? Lies of the first companions, of which Byron is one of them, right? Oh, this dude fucking got the jackpot. Seven, seven, seven. Um, lift their ears. First, the most mysterious of the first companions, wander and mystic by nature, he would venture far from New Jerusalem on his own, according to his thoughts as he explored harsh and distant lands. According to him, a group of devoted followers to whom he tried to impart his wisdom. 5358. Yeah, okay. Very, very good. In the troubled time following founder's disappearance, Lifter Zir and his disciples set out on a journey to reach the opposite end of the world by foot. They have not been heard from since. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Oh, we got an audio log too. Okay. Well, we can listen to that whilst we're looking for the other thing. There is a pleasure in arriving on this island. The pleasure of being the first to step foot here in hundreds of years. Oh no, that's the bridge pleasure. over to the thing. And yet, it is also banal. My presence here is of no more significance than that of every other animal. These rocks do not care who walks here. Yeah, because the they're rocks. The presence of our ancestors and my presence not sentient. Not even, to them. not even putting it this way is wrong. It is not that the rocks do not care. It is, because it is they don't. In some sense, they do not exist. I mean, sure, I guess. I may stand in awe of the cliffs on the southern coast, uh -huh. but the cliffs cannot look back at me with contempt. Yeah. They cannot do anything at all. I mean, yes? Was that supposed to be some sort of deep philosophy? Of course they don't. It's fucking rocks! All right, I am curious, however, in our wanderings, we go back to the, the gate thing with Ding. If that'll show something up now that we've got a star. <laughs> the rocks don't care. I mean, in a sense, it's kind of worse that, the, that they don't care. Because, you know, apathy is kind of worse than hatred, isn't it? Oh, wait, what's this little area? I don't recall ever seeing this before. Like, at least if something or someone hates you, you know they're at least thinking about you, right? And they're not apathetic to your existence. So maybe it'd be better if the rocks hated you. Let's 
Okay, I, oh, I see. This, this is the railway we took on the way in, yeah. I was hoping this was going to be like the... Oh, we were able to clear this. Nice. I was hoping this was going to be like the secret lab or something. It's not. It's just... Structure. Oh, okay. Well, there's... Technically a back way into this puzzle. That's funny. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay, well, let's drop our butts into here again. I'm just saying, too, hear me out. If a dude out there is murderous intent for me, I'll take the apathy. Okay, yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. You know, self preservation is pretty strong, right? That's a strong thought. But I think if you were to extend that to the concept of a higher being, would you want that higher being to think, like, nothing of you? Or would you want that higher being to have any sort of thought about you, whether good or bad? Murderous intent aside, I suppose. <clears throat> Hmm, okay. Ooh, looks kind of tall up there, huh? See, now I'm kind of... I'm keyed into shit that's uh, above our normal eye level here since that first star was all about that. I think that's where one of the last of the normal puzzles was, right? Yeah, okay. That was pretty much nothing. Hmm, okay. We did get that other spark thing just by jumping around, right? Oh, and there's another... Speaking of a spark, I think got another you just one. picked up some kind of decryption key. Some Could try using it on those terminals inside the puzzles. If puzzles get too hard, you could use them to cheat. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I know that, but I don't want to. <laughs> that one was just kind of hanging out on the open. Well, I guess it's kind of a down dead end path, right? Oh, it's it's the fucking notification thing. I was wondering what this little flag in the bottom left corner was. It's the fucking social media notifications, Dillabop. That's... Oh, we should probably just click through these so I don't have to look at that thing again. Uh, it's the final of that thing in the sky. I mean, it was Prometheus. Didn't it say its name? Saw that, right? I'm just gonna turn to sleep mode, blah, 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 blah. No, we all saw it. Blah, blah, blah. It's a little sign from the founder. It could be the end of days. Oh, no. This day of all days. Hey, yeah, yeah. Incoherent for a sign. Didn't finish what it was trying to say. What does the founder have energy and sufficiency problems, too? Well, I mean, yeah. Founder works in mysterious ways. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't feel like weighing in on that one. Um, they've all been looking forward to playing the winners of Biennium. We'll get a memorial interactive fiction exhibit. 312th edition. My goodness, that's been going for a while. No more pavilion, fortunately due to our new power management distribution, blah 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 blah, rolling blackouts, etc. Uh it have to remain closed. Uh, blah 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 blah, ready for completion day. Make sacrifices to stay true. Oh my god. Thanks for the only thing that breaks me out of the monotony. I prioritize this pointless completion day celebration over an ex exhibition people actually care about. Ours the one of the last things, blah 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 blah. A uh, debate regarding a power management plan is definitely welcome. You'll be able to express yourselves in the next election. The start is just meant as an outside of enabling replies to you. <laughs> Never read the comments is what we're going to learn about that, I think. Um, what's 1K like? Hey, that's me. Um, has anyone actually met 1K? Yeah, like fucking a half dozen of these other chuckle fucks, right? I don't know if he's interested in mechanical engineering or something. We definitely need more people to keep the city functional, so we don't have to rely on Melville to repair the stuff that Pellegrino fixes. <laughs> oh, poor Pellegrino. <laughs> Coming out the gate swinging. Uh, remember, you fixed the door to the mayor's office? How long was Herman stuck in there? He trapped one mayor's office for a week. 
I mean, hey, maybe that was a good thing. Who knows? The artist, we really need new stories, lift our spirits. And if we just kept growing, we wouldn't have to worry about this. We wouldn't have to imprison poor 1K in a cage of expectations. So yeah, I'm, I'm into that. And we've the progenitor intended him to be, and the founder foresaw, and she established the goal. Oof. Oof. It's polite and inquisitive, which is a very fine start. Hey, right, Naeth, that's the one we talked to when we woke up, right? Um. Um. Uh, this one I actually feel like responding to because they're talking about me like I'm not here. Like we're not all fucking 1,000 networked robots. Um, I want to explore. That seems like a good... I want to explore and do puzzles. Alright, I'm begging to be assigned to a scouting expedition for age. Oh, and immediately after the next response, so fucking close the thread. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, let me birth 1,000 final sentences and under projection of the skies, blah, 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 Prometheus, etc. Uh, also a remote island, the eyes, blah, 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 blah. Just getting called for calm, promises to be safe so long as do not forget. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, I found a recording of blah, 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 blah. Wait, how the hell... How the hell do they know that I found this? Are we fucking live streaming this entire, like, exploration to this island? Like, how would they know? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, lifter's here. Yeah, huh? I don't know how much else about him. I don't think I've ever seen him around either. Can someone explain? Unusual perspective. He was a mystic, etc., etc. Um, and then blah, blah, blah. All right. This is what I found on those uh, recordings. Yeah, it's perhaps something you decided to show or something only you shared with close friends. Oh, cool. So I guess they all got the thing that I found. Cool. I guess we're still going to get that notification unless we answer this one, right? Um... I don't, I don't think it was a sign, honestly. Like, yeah, in the con, in the context of the fucking Vig games, yes, of course it was a sign. It was the MacGuffin that got us to do the exploration and whatever. But no, I don't think it's a sign. Whatever. Okay, good. As long as it gets rid of that dumbass notification flag, I don't care. Good, it's gone. I guess that still leaves those two lost puzzles, right? Like, we just got one of the stars, but it didn't... didn't count. It didn't count as one of the other puzzles. Which I suppose is fair, because we just pointed a thing at another thing and called it good. Is that where we came in? Over there? No. No, right? Is that even an entrance or an exit or something around here. Look here. This looks kind of conspicuous. Or just a big ass hole in the wall with nothing of import near it. Okay, that works too, I guess. was one of the other things from Talos Principle 1? Wasn't there, like, some really obscure panel on the ground in one of the areas, too? It was just, like, hanging out, and you had to be right near it, and it would finally highlight and do something for you or something like that? I seem to recall that. I hope they don't do a repeat of that, because that was kind of annoying. Oh, this looks like a thing here. Oh, it's the tower. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, they're, they're marked! They're marked, too. Okay, so this is one of the hidden ones. Nice. Okay. All right. strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Yeah, there's two of them Like, here. it's all unfinished. Finished. All right, or so we got a... 
combo bit. Uh, I need blue and green. Ooh. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're getting to the level of complexity I was looking for here. Uh, all right. Well, let's start with the thing we can open. Okay. Mm Got a blue. Uh, uh, uh. This is over here. Okay. Um, and okay, there's a red thing there too, so I'm probably gonna want. Uh, 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 uh. I want to grab the red from around this way, yeah. About right there. And then, bump. Red. Blue. Green. Bonk. Get these two out of here. Okay, and then the other bit is there. We've got red and we're gonna need a blue right which is gonna be oh boy uh yeah this is gonna be interesting huh well i don't i don't need to connect that red anymore do we well maybe actually what is that even doing oh it's just opening that bit yeah okay so we can uh get rid of that Probably just gonna need one of these to hold that down to get blue available to us, right? Okay, so we've got a blue. I need one of them to be a red. Uh, we'll put it like way the fuck over here, so we got some space to work with. And we'll need one of these to be a blue. I see. Alright. Borrow a couple of these. I think I'm gonna need to wrap this around, probably. Oh, which means I probably don't need this sucker here. Pop that one there for now. Ah, uh, oh, Matt. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do still need that there. And, yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Um, and I'm gonna need this to go blip. Blop. Uh, that, I guess. And then, oh, and we've got targets on everything anyway, so blip, 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 blop. There we go. Okay, so the hidden puzzles are just normal ass puzzles scattered throughout. I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? And the other star thing is going to be probably another targeted bit that we can see from one of these other ones. Okay. Probably trotting in the paths that are not particularly well marked is a good idea. Let's see what else we can see around here.
That's blocked off. Can we uh, jump our butts up here? Hey. All right. Bunch of rocks. Who? Okay, yep, there's the real entrance we took on the way in, right? Looks a little bit off the path, yeah? 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 Oh, no, it's the gate. Whoa! <laughs> well, actually, we did want to see this anyways. Alright, okay, I see. So one's lit up now. That's either... That's probably one of the stars, I would imagine. I was hoping that was the, the second hidden puzzle thing. That's all right. Plenty of spots to check otherwise. I think. Okay. Get our butts up there. the other... Yep, yeah, was the other hidden one. Alright, perfect. Elevation, you say. Okay. That's gonna be... interesting. Because if this one... If this is another one we can kind of shoot another laser out of. This might be in good position to reveal the second star one, too. Um, Alright, so what do we got? We've got a little combo bit there. Um, green, blue, red's right there, and a box over there, normal ass connector there, red output there, okay, probably gonna need that box. And then there's the thing there with blue, need to get blue back here, huh? The name of the puzzle is Elevation, huh? Okay. Meaning that we can probably use that box to get up somewhere where we need to be. Grab this off there for now. There's the blue out, blue in. Okay, we can't hop our way over the beam, the beam wall thing, can we? Hmm, okay. segments out the top of those walls there. 
interesting in itself. gate to get access to green. Uh, and I don't think the beams themselves can shoot through this uh, purple goop, right? Oh, they can! Interesting. I don't think I knew that. Well, alright. That gets then this through here. Um, which then gets us the box and red and green makes oopsie red and green makes blue here and then we can get this one yep and then that stays open and then oh uh, crap <laughs> now I need to get it around the corner here um Um, well, where's the, actual, where's the actual blue output? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, grab this again. So then we can do this. We can kind of leapfrog it a bit. And then we can go, uh, do that. And then grab this. Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry. Right, because I forgot to fucking... Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, I can fix this. Need to do this again. And that'll open there. And I need to grab uh, that and that and do like that from here, right? Now that's open again. Um, I'm gonna set you down right here. You don't block the other one. There you go. And then we can do that. And we can grab... Uh... What do I need that to be? I need it to be blue. Oh, fuck. Um, well, no, that's probably fine, right? Because uh, then I can just do... Oh, fuck. No, that's no good. Is it? Uh... <laughs> Uh Hmm. Wait. No, that's not gonna do it, is it? Maybe I'm not stupid. No, I'm definitely stupid. Um, alright, hold on a second. Let's move this back. Still need this to be up here. Let's do that. Make sure that stays open. Right? And really what I just want to do here is do this and do that. And let me just... Uh, can I... No, it's going to walk me out, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Shit. <sighs> well, maybe this is okay then. Let's do this like this. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on a second. Um, no, I guess I do kind of need it like that. Because I want to be able to move. Oh, balls though. No, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Let's see, uh, I need to do, oh, yeah, that's right, so I can 
bot this over here. I think I just need to move this out a little further. Can I get all... Th Ooh. I think I can just get those from here, yeah? Huh. I think I just need to move this around. Here. Let's take that. Let's move that over here. Way back here. This up here. Although I don't know, oh, it didn't do shit. <laughs> it didn't do shit. Uh, fuck. Um, although, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me grab you. Let's kind of leapfrog you over here to. Oh, well, that's probably gonna be dumb and stupid, isn't it? Because that don't do shit either. Does it? No, that's not gonna do it. Cause that's gonna close as soon as I do that. And I need, I need to do that. And that's probably not gonna work here. Cause someone's gonna be like, "No, you can't do that, idiot." So I need to kind of pick that up, I guess, for now. Fine. Uh, I need to now get this to be on a box. <laughs> uh, let's take that off entirely for now. I think. No. Well. Hold on a second. Actually, I just need to do this. I need to get this down on the level so I can just be like, hey, there. And now that's producing blue. And now we can just grab blue from here. Gosh, we got blue at home. There we go. <laughs> got there eventually. Gravy. Yeah, I imagine I was pretty close for a bit there. <laughs> Brief blip in the system. There has to be some sort of point. Oh, I mean, bless your heart, Melville, for thinking there's a point to anything. Uh, but all right, okay, that's all the puzzles. We just got the one star to find now. Oh, <laughs> right, because I would have grabbed the cube, it would have fallen down and stayed connected. And ah, jeez. Well. You know, sometimes I get, I get, I do things the hard way, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's things to be interesting. Um, that's right. Okay, so we got a, a star to look for now. Um, I presume they probably wouldn't jam them extremely close together, right? Oh, and also we've got a secret lab to find. That's a thing, too, right? Uh, was this the one that pointed to the other thing? Well, this is another one that's got the, like, the levitating bit to it. Right? So this would be another good candidate for, uh... Oh, I do have a zoom-in. Well, that's a weak-ass zoom-in. But, I mean, it's something. Uh, I guess this would be a good candidate for shooting a laser outside the puzzle, right? It's all... All up there and shit. Whoa! Sorry about that. I guess I'll just take that. That's fine. Um, well, let me get a, a view to what we can target here, huh? It 
seem like there's anything immediately visible from here. Oh, there's a thing all the way the fuck over there. Oh, that's probably not it. So let's just get this back on its... On its... Whoa! Shit! Right. <laughs> there. Let's just get this back on its thing before we, uh... Leave the area. I mean, the idea is that we'd need to be able to see it from here. It would need to be line of sight from here if it was another, like, point the laser outside the bit. Right? So we had a pair that stood out there, but that's just the Puzzle 3 thing. That looks deep enough to have a swim, right? Or is it all just fucking ankle deep and we can walk across? Yep, yeah, okay. Well, that being the case then, there's this thing over here. Which has a very faint... There's another one of those monuments. ...something or other leading off of it. Oh, hey, what does this say? Find my sprite and follow it until it leads you back to me. Yeah, that's... Sure. <laughs> sure, I guess. Um, but it's not the labeled star bit I was hoping for there, presumably Prometheus. Okay. Well, that's something. But rocks. Make sure there's nothing like very slightly notable on the ground over here. No? Okay. A little outcropping of something over here. Oh, it's a tricycle. Okay. <laughs> we popped a Geo for it. For discovering an ancient human artifact. A yeah, sure. That's what that is. For something a little bit more important than that, but hey, whatever. This side of the tower is not particularly important, aside from that thing we found. So maybe the other side will be something. Oh! Uh, something jumped out at me there. Was that a frog? Maybe not. Maybe I imagined something. Alright, well, let's trudge our robot butts over to the other side, then. Obviously, this is the main bridge over to the, the thing where it actually wants us to go, right? But I'm not- I don't want to do that yet. Oh, is it getting deeper, or is that my imagination? I see another thing over there. That might be important. There's also this. It's not something we can get access to. Alright. Oh. Yeah, here. 
Oh, it's more ancient shit. A radiator. Oh boy. That's true. That's true. We don't have much... Well, let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, not much of an ass there, is there? Pretty slim. Pretty slim. Now, eh, what are you gonna do? Alright, so we found another ancient little artifact thing. That's cool, I guess. Did see another glowy bit over here. Which, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Alright, let's follow it. Uh, well, try to follow it, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna leave. Just go to where you're gonna go and I'll find my way to you, okay? Oh, and there are frogs. Okay, that's what surprised me before. Hmm, into this structure that I couldn't get into, yeah? Oh, no. It's going right past that. Very good. Oh, you want me to go across there? Though? No, I don't want to do. Uh, I don't want to do this yet. <laughs> Come on! Aww. Uh, ah, jeez. Uh. I don't know if this is relevant, but Saint Edward believed that Tetrominos represented there. the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True. But he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. Uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, I guess it just needed us to build that one bit so we could re-trigger it to go over here, yeah? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, is that it? There we did. Oh, we activated a Prometheus mine. Cool. Oh, was that the other star? Not all yeah, must be sure balanced. was. Okay. When good is weighed against evil, tip the scale. Hmm. I kind of agree with that, actually. All right, cool. So I think we got it then. Amongst the other two bits that we randomly found. So that was the. I mean, aside from the lab, I guess, right? And then the gate that we may or may not be able to do now. At least we could go check it out one more time. Yeah, and that little musical ditty that was going on whilst we were following it was pretty cool. different than the, you know, hyped up ambient stuff or whatever. Had a sense of urgency to it. Although now I want to investigate probably the rest of that side. So there's one more thing we gotta find here, and then we can cross the second bit of the bridge there and, uh, and see what's in the tower. Oh, jeez. Frogs. Frightening. Okay, because the other bit I think was just up on dry land. We can even get over there. Which is questionable at this point. Uh, well, no. I think our robot legs were not built for off roading. Yeah. <laughs> Climb up here. No. And 
can't have any fun. All right. Oh, let's see what else is down here. most things over here, but then it kind of sounded kind of urgent that we follow that thing, so we did that instead of hanging around a bit. another time man. back for it later or make one more circuit around the actual structures we can reach either, so this is kind of like, just go look around until you find it, I suppose. First hidden thing of a bot we found before, right? Yeah. Set off from everything else. Okay. This it is sort of a small path to it, right? Yeah. Tried to cross now, yeah, because there was the fancy hole in the wall. And... The rest of the normal puzzles that we were already directed to as well. was one statue I wanted to look at, and then after that we can cross the bridge and see what's on the other side, and then probably call it there for tonight since we are about at time, which is good. Like, if one of these areas takes about a night's worth of work, that's a pretty good measure. Um, where was that statue I wanted to look at? I think it was just, maybe it was just one of those. Or no, it was that one over there. Uh, can we get around to it? I want to stay kind of on the elevation here. I think we can. This might have been one of. Yeah, okay, right. This is where one of the sparks was, too. Never mind. We already kind of checked this out. And I think we talked to everybody, too, right? We talked to Melville, and Byron, and Alcatraz, and Yakut. 
Now let's sell the other four of our group here, right? We already did all these, right? Various musings of our accompanying folk here. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Use them to skip puzzles if you want to. Well, we don't want to do that. We got stars and shit. And then this. Oh, right. I wanted to look at the gate one more time and see if that was, uh,. Probably related to the stars we've been gathering. So there should be now two of them lit up, right? Kind of hoping to wander into the lost lab thing whilst we were moving around here, but no such luck. Okay, uh, gates this way. Oh, and it should probably be on our compass once we get into range, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Interesting. Does that, uh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Okay. are gonna be like in-game shit once we're once we've got all of these taken care of okay well that's something to investigate later much later um, but now let's go build a bridge get over it etc over here. Uh, yeah. Fancy hologram thing. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus. Huh. All we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, so, Mercury. and others assert was icon such as flows in the veins of the gods. Okay. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? That's... He moved of his own volition. Bit of a leap. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine hmm. may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, wasn't expecting an impromptu philosophy lesson there, but such as it be, we got one. Um, all right. Oh, bridge is over there. All right. Okay. There wasn't another structure over there, right? That's no, the other side. 
found one of the things. Oh, right. This was originally opened by the first two, right? Even though we probably could have gone around somehow. And then the remaining six were solved there. Uh... Looks like it fits. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, fine. There, we did it. No, oh, not that. I see. Ah, oh, well, no. <laughs> Can I just jump? Oh, come on! Can you use my robot legs and jump? <laughs> Sorry, right. are we actually gonna have to consider this and and deconstruct and reconstruct, or uh... Oh no, that's finished for good. Okay. rotation you have me doing here. Oh, there. I see. <laughs> and it shows Melville. What? I'm just saying. Yeah, cute with the deep cut there. The fucking... Backhand return to Melville. <laughs> Alright, cool, we did it. We made it to the, the tower in the first bit. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Boo. <laughs> like, huh? Wait a minute. Let's look around. Kind of hoping that was the, the cheeky little secret lab thing. That would have been fun. Oh, oh, come on, you can't let me just shimmy my way across that, huh? That would be kind of fun. Eh! Aw! Oh. Alright, whatever. Fine! <laughs> Go forward. Or... Come on. Get your robo legs up there. There we go. Hit! Hey, there we go. And then. Oh, come on! Boo! Invisible walls! Any little shits. Okay, maybe there was something forward? No. Ugh. All right, maybe it's just a path towards actual progression here. They're not trying to pull a fast one, unless. Oh, see, that would have been a good... This would have been a good play here. Down one of these things. Mm. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Seems like a bad idea to walk into the purple murder beam. But, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna walk into the purple murder beam. Whoa, whoa, whoa! In the beginning, 
the god shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth uh -huh. and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, lady? Uh, the creator because they came from art, not chaos. Neither they cannot be compared. The creators because they came from nature. They are the same for they share the same breath. Neither because perfection is impossible. Oh, shit. But it didn't say... Uh, it didn't say which one is perfect. It said which one is closer to perfection. So if we consider per perfection to be asymptotic, right? Um... Hopefully the created, right? Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. Uh, disagree. Have you ever driven down a crooked road? Ain't nothing genius about that. Okay. Uh, sure? Um... Yes, because knowledge belongs to all. Huh? Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. Also true. Uh, no, fire was not for humankind to have. Eh. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Eh. Zeus did not create fire. It was not his own in the first place. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck you, Zeus! If Zeus did not own fire, why should humankind... Nobody owns fire. It's its own thing. Fucking rub some Zeus. sticks together. Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, uh -huh. and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. Okay. All that remained within was hope. It's my hope in a box. I uh, hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. Okay. This is intended for humankind to have hope. It should have been released. False. Uh, this is intended for humankind not to have hope, so it remains trapped. Also false. Uh, hope it hope is itself an evil like sorrow and suffering. We are lucky it did not escape. Oh Boy, that's fucking cynical uh, We suffer, but we do not anticipate it. This is a blessing as Zeus intended it um, No, like I'm definitely not an optimist, but fuck hope can still be found Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils Or we should just be glad that hope Creatures exists to begin with you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Well... Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Well, clay plus fire equals brick. I would rather be brick than clay, so yeah, bring on the fire. Oh, maybe not if the fire is dispensed by gigantic fuck-off laser, though. Jeez, what in the hell? <laughs> Yeah, it would have to be to be a beam of that coherence. My goodness. Oh no, another team's chat. We need to talk about <laughs> what just happened. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues. Wow, here. what a fucking middle management thing to, to do. Let's start a meeting and be like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Anybody else have an idea? It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Uh huh. Presumably the same technology. Okay. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. A big fuck off laser. Is a sentient being or some kind of recording. Oh. Both. Um, I think a sentient seemed to react to what I was saying, but it seemed to have a bunch of pre programmed responses, so probably not. Um. The interaction wasn't long enough. We don't got enough info. Let's skip that issue for now. That, what, what really matters uh, here is what it was trying whatever. to achieve by asking those questions. I don't know, maybe it was just bored. Seems sort of threatening? No. It was testing? Yeah. Maybe it was just being cryptic to annoy me? Okay, I can get behind that one. That was the whole, that was the Sphinx's whole jam, wasn't it? Answer me these questions three. No, that was something different, wasn't it? Um. It seemed like it was testing. testing you to what? Fuck if See I if know. Sure. That's an interesting thought. Is it? You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if uh -huh. you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. Mm. You know what I like? Certainty. 
Okay, Al's got it. Al's on the level there. Um, <laughs> we're all doomed. <laughs> Uh, we should be careful. We don't know what these that these apparitions are benign. Uh, yeah, I mean, caution the better part of valor, etc. Right? I don't disagree, but I still think we should proceed. I well, I didn't One say we should. Keep solving puzzles. Disagree or of you, not proceed? Work. Wow, Byron, way to go, way to lead. Well, that was interesting. Can I go look? I'd like to look at this. Big ass laser. Okay. Oh, that's gonna. The sudden stop at the end is gonna be kind of treacherous. Oh. Never mind. Soft landing. All right, cool. So we got and tower activated. Oops. Oh, there's the map. Oh, the map, the map, the map, which presumably, yeah, okay. All three on the eastern side, right? Which we can get access to... Oh. Okay, I'm guessing that's scrambled by design there. Eight more puzzles there, two more lost ones, the golden gate thing that we can't do, two stars, lost labs that we haven't found even the first one of. Huh. Interesting. Okie dokes. Well, at the very least we can head back to the rail thingamading and then call it a night. Yeah, look at that son of a bitch. Ew. Sure, now it lets me jump. Eh. Eh. Oh. <laughs> I thought I totally made that. Okay. All right, well, very good. Those, all those puzzles, even the hidden one, the, well, the lost ones, quote unquote, weren't particularly difficult, which is fine. This is just the first area, after all. Um, but it is a good indication of what we're in for, I suppose. And what we're in for, we'll have to wait for next time then. Um, okay, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be Wednesday night. Well, hopefully it'll be Wednesday night. Um, locally we're in for about nine inches of snow tomorrow, <laughs> which will be a, a bitch for me to clear. Um, so we'll see if I've got even the energy to do this on Wednesday. But assuming that I do, um, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. Um, more Talos Principle 2. Uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST will be Shmup Book Club. Some more, um, uh, Trigon or, uh, Bluish Resurrection Plus. Could give that a try. Um, or Karis is still on board as well. Friday, Saturday, we're off. Next Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, uh, will be, um, Long Play. We'll see. We've still got some time to decide whether that's going to be more Spelunky 2 or something else. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CSD, back to Tales Principle 2 as well. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.